So since I made my last video, I've actually finished this game, and I've got to say I enjoyed it quite thoroughly to the end. I don't think it's going to be a forever game for me like DRG or anything, but I thought I could make at least one or two more videos. Definitely wanted to make a video on this ship, because I think it's the hardest one overall for me. And then also, I wanted to do this one, because this is my favorite ship. Now that I've played everything, this one's my favorite. But I don't think there's a Hazard 9 variant of that, so... But yeah, let's get started. Uh, just gonna take everything I can. Okay. So like I said, this one's a little bit of a toughie. Probably the hardest one for me at least. It's a particularly difficult component of this ship to, for that I haven't found a good way to take apart. Maybe there's some guidance online on how to do it better than I can, but I, I definitely struggle with it and I'll, I'll point it out when we get to it. So this thing right here, getting this fuel tank out of this little assembly right here is extremely difficult for me. I've never had an easy time with it. So hopefully I can do it well on this run, but we'll see. I've learned to be a little bit more comfortable with the line cutter as well. I always knew it was faster than using the precision cutter, but I didn't fully understand the mechanics of it. So I thought I was gonna like cut apart some of these things that I was trying to extract, but now that I have a, thanks to some comments and also loading up some ships and experimenting on my own time, I've learned that it's a uh, le much less scary than I thought. Still probably gonna be using the the precision cutter whenever I'm around the fuel tank, but. Other than that, I'm uh, getting a little bit faster. So I think my goal going in is to do this shift, this ship in five shifts. I think that's the average for me for getting this one. I'll try to push for four, but I'm I'm not sure. Also, since I'm done with the game at this point, I'm just going to be aiming for the uh, the tier nine salvage goal. Not interested in getting stickers or anything. So I'm going to depress this the safest way I know how, which is just to chop the thruster off. Probably break a couple of ECUs, but that's fine. No, it didn't even. Nice. Whoops. Interesting. Okay, uh, that's the first time I've ever actually tried to disarm one of those. Okay, go ahead and pull those down. And we'll get in here, decompress these airlocks. Oops. I'm still not entirely clear on how to catch myself with my hands, though. I feel like I'm just missing something obvious, but whatever. Oh, that doesn't look good. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to be an issue. Alright, well, we'll just have to tear that one from the outside as well. Let's go ahead and get this uh, reactor area opened up. with that bulkhead right there, though. These are all onion ring sections, I believe, so they're all gonna come apart as big big pieces. I'm not to catch the reactor with that. Okay, that should be good enough to get this out. Processing object. Applying 
Okay, I want to get this thruster thing out of the way before I deal with this next ring, so. Get out of here. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna pop this and hope for the best. Oh, that didn't do it. Oh yeah, I gotta cut this whole section right here. Woo! Put on the air brakes. Oh. Well, that's not good. It'll be okay. That's something I'm still not entirely clear on, is how I should have dealt with that that component right there. Like, I don't know how I could have done that properly. Oh well, though. Didn't lose much. It was quick. Didn't kill me. Here, cut this whole thing loose. Beautiful. That's furnaceable. It's trash now because I destroyed it. I also want to get it. Try the strategy of just dropping these furnaceable compartments into the barge so I don't have to slowly extract everything from them. Caution. Oh, tethers. Tethers. Let's try it with this one. That way we'll be able to know how much we lost between shifts. Okay. Alright, well, we will... I think we should just try to decompress this section since we don't have tethers anyways. Overall, for how quick and sloppy that was, I think we, we got out of that pretty well. As far as stuff that we broke. So what, if anything, can we decompress here? In a non-violent way. Uh, let's just start with this. Okay, so that got the outer compartment, which is really important. So that means we can start doing stuff in here. To get out of this. Uh-oh. That's not good. Actually, that's very good. Didn't break anything. Didn't kill me, didn't break anything. Money. There's the other one. Cool, so we're just breaking some aluminum right there. Never mind, that was great. Clearly I still don't have a great understanding of how to depressurize the ships safely, but I don't know. I think that was pretty pretty good overall. Okay, we're gonna have to get more tethers before we're productive again. So as messy as that was, that did most of what we needed in this front section. This is probably going to be a moment I have to use this stinger. Actually, maybe not. There we go. Just trying to save time by not going back for tethers. I'm not sure if that's helping me in the long run or not. I'm over here now, so I might as well. of these real quick.
Haul in all this stuff as fast as I can. Hold the easy armor plate. I think it's so faster to use the stinger to cut the perimeter off of that panel. Just chop that entire panel out. Cut this real quick. Cool. Not bad for one shift. Okay. And then we can see all that aluminum that we barged from yesterday. That's being destroyed right now. Since it was uh, taken away. I don't know what's going on with these tethers right now. Just seeing where everything was that I was moving. We got this whole section ready to go. This right here. <laughs> I'm debating on just dropping that whole thing into the barge. I really don't want to deal with it. I despise this whole assembly right here. Yank that little bit out. Okay, let's uh, cut some more of this frame out. Get this thing off. Gotta get out of here before that crushes me. Okay. Beautiful. Still learning that those angles and cuts, how to do them right. Let's see if we can pull some of these off and out. Pretty sure this is just on its own now. No, we gotta cut this though. I'm too afraid to try to throw and stick any of the demo charges. Should probably learn to do it, but not yet. This whole assembly right here, we can probably get away with just dunking, because it's not very much aluminum at all. I do want to get the tier 9 goal though, so I might have to stop doing this at some point. In order to get enough. Oops. I'm messing this up right now. All that. Yeah, that, that is a lot of value for the time that it took to get that in, so probably worth it at the end of the day. Alright, I really just, I really don't want to wrestle with this section right here. So we're just gonna... Do this and never feel bad about it ever. The whole thing's going down there. 90% of that is processor and furnace. It's just the one fuel tank, but I'm not having it. Cut that airlock in half. Not a great result. Let's 
It's okay though. Getting our value. Definitely took a couple big hits this shift. I think we're okay. As long as I do decently with getting the rest of these exterior panels in, should be okay. are getting really hard to extract now, so I'm going to have to start cutting on the actual hole. faster. Perfect. Pull this radiation filter. Clear now. cut anything important. I think that's actually separated now. Doesn't look like it though. I oh, know it is. It is bending over a little bit. Alright, well, we'll have to see how much we lose from that whole tank assembly at the end of this shift to know what we have to do on this next one. Yeah, that was uh, quite a bit, quite a hit, so we'll uh, have to evolve a little bit because of that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, we used the sloppy straps on the parts that really sucked, so now we can actually apply a little bit more effort to this last bit. Okay, perfect. Yeah, 
It's huge, two huge chunks going in. That's good. Let's go ahead and start tethering stuff together in here, get it out faster. actually do here is I think we should be able to dunk these two sections and if it's not gonna work out we'll be able to tell and then pull them back out I haven't actually tried that before so we'll see how it goes but we'll see if we have to actually clean this up or not I try to grab all the processor related stuff I can out of here. Oh yeah, we never got that thing. We just kind of stuck it so it wouldn't float away. So in the end we didn't end up making the tier 9 goal, we destroyed like just enough stuff when I dunked that last section into the barge. So overall though I'm pretty happy with that, I originally estimated it was going to take me 5 shifts to get here, and it took 3 to get right here, so definitely some room for improvement, don't know if I'm actually going to make those improvements honestly, but uh, yeah overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with the speed and some like slight improvement over that. All in all, though, I might make one more video on this game, but I'm probably just going to go back to focusing on DRG stuff for the time being. Definitely looking to play some other games in the near future, though, so stay posted for that. If you'd like to catch me live, I stream over on Twitch. If you'd like to talk to me or suggest other games for me to play, you can talk to me in my community over on Discord. And as always, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.